one day out of the blue, I get a phone call from Baruch. Hi Ari, how are you? We want to make this uh, big film and I want you to be part of it, part of the team, part of the film crew. And I'm thinking to myself, this is just another Moisid. It's bigger than regular, but it's not like something extraordinary. And uh, I said yes, of course, Baruch was a very good friend. I remember the first day that I arrived on set. So I arrive at this remote address in the middle of the, of, of the woods, in the middle of nowhere. And I see another car and another car and another car. And then I come inside and I see all these people. The first thing I saw was the team of Purim Chadushas. And Moishe Greenfield, of course. First of all, we're good friends. I, I, wasn't, I, I didn't really know that he's going to be part of this. But he was there with the full gear. I right away realized that this is going to be from the olden days. So they needed real makeup and real costumes. And, and it was everywhere. It's like they opened a, a shop, a Broadway shop over there. There was so much going on. And, and the makeup was consistent. There was music blasting. And everybody was such a good vibe. And there were so many people. I was so taken back by that. Because I, I, I didn't expect it at all. And you know, I'm arriving there expecting something small and all of a sudden I'm a part of this big team. It was just one big happy family over there. Um, I think it was roughly four hours makeup every day we shot. And we had a crunched time to shoot in. We had a very crunched timeline and we had to get it done. And we were all overworking but with a lot, a lot of satisfaction, real satisfaction, because it was just, it was like our, our mission. We were on a mission together to get this done right. It was such an exciting uh, vibe over there. Everybody was so into actually getting the shots done right, and everybody was helping each other with advice, with, uh, let's say, we had to set up a set. Everyone from the top producer to the smallest guy, bystander, everybody was into design. For example, the shul. The shul was one of the first sets we designed and there was so much detail that we needed to do over there. Like the sforum and the candles and, and lighting them up and, and, and the changing the tables and the set and dragging uh, closets. And it was an old, old, old place, an old set. So there was so much heavy, heavy furniture and old things to move around. Everybody was in for the, for the task. Everybody was helping each other. Everybody was joking around. And I thought, okay, this is only the beginning. But as the hours kept going, I mean, Baruch does not know when to stop. So he just keeps going. I mean, it's night, it's day, it's night again, it's day again. He just keeps going. So we were rolling day after day after day after day. The makeup took a major amount of the time to make sure it's perfect. Um, and we always had to match the faces to make sure they match each other, match the first shot, the second shot. So for example, if we had different locations and different days shooting, we had to make sure, I mean, Purim Kadushas had to make sure, I had to make sure to stand there. Uh, some, some of, some, sometimes I was filming behind the scenes, but uh, the makeup crew had to make sure to have pictures of everybody's face and match it up. So if they had a bruise or they had a certain uh, thing, and, and of course, touch-ups with the sweating, with these suits, oh, these humongous suits, Borsa. Oh, poor Borsa. He, he was sweating in his costumes. It was, it was horror to watch it. I felt so sorry for him. I kept helping him, fixing him. Um, just a very, very friendly environment. Um, it was a big honor, really. I mean, I want to say I can't wait for the next one, but uh, I'm, I'm still so excited about that one and I'm still getting so much good feedback about it. Suhi was a great, great energy added to this film. Um, I'm sure somebody already said that he, we, we flew him in from Israel. I mean, they flew him in from Israel, especially for this film. and. We had a blast with him. I mean, so much energy. Only Israelis have this energy, you know? <laughs> Only Israelis got it. Chaim Brown um, really surprised me by how natural he was with the camera and how um, creative he was with the, not only the, what we're going to shoot and where we're going to shoot it from, but with his ideas on set to improvise 
to get better um, results and sometimes add his own taste and his own, his own twist. It was so much, it added so much to the whole scene, um, to the whole film. Um, Chaimke, 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 Chaimke. I have no idea. I'm, I'm sure after we finished filming, this Bachar Chaimke needed to sleep at least for two months just to relax from all the energy he gave out. But he gave it 110%. He was working so hard. He, he just kept going. He didn't complain for one second. There was so much going on. And, and of course, he was in most of the scenes. So sometimes like actors would get a break between scenes. He never got a break. We kept him up all night. And even when I crashed, after 18 hours filming straight, I just, I couldn't anymore. I think I sat down on the couch for one second and I woke up two hours later, something like that. So in those two hours, he, he had to keep going. I mean, everybody, Chaimke had to keep going at all times. He did a phenomenal job. And he's a natural. He's a real natural. He was so, he, we gave him the cue. I think he's the only one that remembered his lines to the T. He remembered his lines just like he read them this second. Just like he's reading it off a of paper. It, it was so geschmack to work with him. It was so much easier than sometimes, you know, you need to uh, read it out to the, 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 the actors. Um, with him, no issues. Heilig Maral was amazing. You know, when he stood there in that stender and he was screaming, Shira Malos! Wow, it actually got me. And I, we were staging it. I mean, I was standing there and we, we, we said action and everybody just started going like this. I mean, it's an act at the end of the day, but it actually got me. The people were screaming, the Mara was screaming. I actually started saying Shira Malos with them. It was, it was emotionally fantastic. It, Mamish it grasped everything. For me, it was like... Uh, Neila, Yom Kippur Neila. It was amazing. I stood there, I forgot that I'm behind the camera. I just forgot that I'm behind the camera. It was such an amazing experience. The market, the market actually, after, first of all, designing the market took forever. It's, it, it, it was a big project, a big production, a lot of people, more people than any other set. Uh, many hours to, to actually design it right. And then there was the goats <laughs> that made a mess. And, and it was a lot of fun. The Bukhim were chasing the goats back and forth and fighting with them. And uh, what else do we have over there? The, the horse and buggy, of course. E every time we had to do another take, we had to put, tell the horse to go back. This horse was giant. He took up the entire space of the market. Um, and then the sun direction and the lighting, of course, that, that, that was uh, on our side tough. But working with the greatest people, there was Arya Bramowitz. Uh, that came in for that scene and a bunch of other actors in that uh, for the market to fill up the market we had fresh fish or <laughs> by the time we filmed they were dead and stinky and uh, a bunch of, of raw items or, or vegetables and fruits and just remembering all these details was so phenomenal to see how we actually put together this entire thing um, um, the, the bread, remembering exactly how the bread looked like and the baskets for the bread and everything. And of course, Moshe Greenfield was very involved in designing everything as well. Um, there was a lot of good talent on set to help constantly with, with upgrading. Um, the entire Ponom Chadusha's team did the same thing. They did constantly um, um, thoughts and adding and, and the smoke and that we added the smoke, the, the burning fire and the market. And the challenge was walking backwards with the camera and the gimbal and not hitting the fire or the goats or what they left on the floor. Um, it was a lot of, I think that was the best day we had. The, mo the, yeah, the most exciting was the castle, but the biggest, um, I think they were both, both very big. Yeah, they were both very big. I'm sorry for stuttering. Blah, 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 blah. Cut, take it out. Um, the castle actually took you back in the ancient days. In the more dark side, uh, there was Dr. Skolovsky, the creepiest man on earth, uh, which we were 
for a long time trying to find the best way to reveal his scary face. Um, the castle had so many options over there. There was like every corner you turned was was curved out of the uh, dark old churches. And uh, then on the other side, we had this Jewish old market in Prague that uh, actually also uh, had a very, very strong vibe of the olden days. So actually, even if you knew that you're not, you're kind of a Lakewood, but when you walked in into there, uh, when we walked into the set after it was all done and, and we, we started shooting, um, it was amazing. It was, it was like we were in a real market. The noise that was going on and everything was so natural, everything was so professional. The castle was one, one space that I actually felt detached from reality. The, the entire environment and the remote spot it was and the way it looked and designed and the way it was designed, um, it was extremely remote, by the way. I mean, Google, Google Maps only takes you to a certain point and then it does just, just find your way. I mean, you, you start riding up this hill and up and up and up and up. And the view up there was like, it was like we were spaced out. We were, we were taken to a different time and age. We were taken to a different reality. And we really felt it. So the set itself really set a certain tone for everyone. Although we were so many people, we were all in, like in the zone. We were like much more relaxed. It was so real over there. And then the costumes, woof! The costumes and the castle and the whole environment, it was just like, a, like the perfect aroma to make this work. And there was not much needed. I mean, all you had to do is press record and say action and let, let, let the people start walking. It, it was beautiful. It was the, the, everything, the way it was designed, the fires and the, the woods and the trees and the <laughs> we were shooting in the middle of the night. You couldn't see an inch further, like nothing. I, I didn't even want to go out to the car at night. I mean, who knows what it is out there. We were so remote. One of the things I saw immediately when I arrived was <laughs> a two giant dogs. Um, what was their names? I can't remember. I, th I think it was German Shepherds. Two giant German Shepherds. And that, that's, that was the gift from Baruch to me for coming out all the way to wherever we went to the castle, to Lake George. Um, those two dogs were giant. I was so scared. I mean, until age 22, I never seen any dogs. I, I thought they belonged in the zoo. Wherever, where I lived, there was no dogs ever. So for me, they were just out of the zoo. So every time they came out of their room, I had to hide and wait for them to pass by. Um, it was a crazy production back there. I mean, we, we, we dragged out half a Lakewood to that castle and uh, Baruch did remember each one what his job was. I don't know how. And he was supposed to be the therapist as well because, because he went for, I think, I don't know. It felt like 48 hours straight filming, but uh, I think it was 18. And then a break from two hours, and then we went for another four hours. I think that's what it was. Um, the main thing that I was very surprised is how professional everything was rolling, and how he had, Baruch, of course, had the right person for the right thing. Like every 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 department had his own thing running, and everybody was helping each other, so we were very well linked. And the second thing I was surprised about, how he selected his people to make it such a chabura, such a geshmak a chabura. Oh, Baruch, I, 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 I thank you from the bottom of my heart for bringing me into this because I really, it was a pleasure and honor and life memories. And I can't wait for the next one. So when are we starting to shoot?